Yeah, I think it's it's gone well. I think I came in uh, ready after last year. I didn't get that chance, and then this year I think I've, I felt good. I worked on my skating, worked on my strength all summer, so coming to camp just kind of show myself, prove myself a little bit, so it's been good. Have you been able to see or, or feel the results of your summer, like while you're out there in game action, like, okay, here's where I do feel like I'm stronger and faster? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I worked on my skating like quite a bit, like I said, and, and to, to kind of watch that and kind of feel that and I think that's improved quite a bit and that's helped my game out there and, and be able to play up to pace and, and play at a good pace all the time so I think definitely I've, I've noticed uh, the work put in in the summer and, and transfer that into the game on the ice. Connor you mentioned the, maybe the physical side of being ready but what mentally does it feel a little bit different for you mentally this time around and if so how are you feeling more ready up here? A hundred percent, I think. Uh, I went through a lot of ups and downs last year just with injuries and, and whatnot, first pro season, and, and kind of getting into the groove there and, and, and getting up to pace, even kind of starting behind the eight ball a little bit. So to kind of come in here and be confident in my game, obviously play within the structure, but play how I'm supposed to play and, and stick to what I do best is, is kind of kind of how I've got about, gone about things. And, and obviously, uh, Camp can, camp can get hard, get long, and, and I think just to stay confident and, and stay true to, to who you are as a player is uh, is huge. How does that give you an advantage, knowing that maybe some of those trials and tribulations may be behind you? And I see watching you out there, you look a lot more confident, a lot more comfortable, but how does that give you an advantage, maybe somewhere where you haven't been before? Yeah, I think just a little bit of mental toughness, right? I think a uh, couple injuries last year, obviously the big one, I was out 12 weeks. That's That gets hard. You're not really around your teammates working by yourself, and, and you're always trying to trying to do something to get better and improve, but it's uh, it's hard when you're, when you're there working by yourself and, and just around the trainers, not always in that locker room. So I think to come in this year and just feel good about my game over the summer and then just just working mentally and, and like I said, staying confident has been huge and, and doing things away from the rink that, that make you feel good, that when you come to the rink you're, you're solely focused 100% on, on the game and what you need to do and um, that's been huge for me, just mentally working on that and, and being focused on, on, on the job at hand. Maybe you just address it, but what does another step for you look like? Yeah, I think for me it's, it's taking my game to the next level. I think I've done a good job of, of skating and, and, and playing my game, but I think uh, start producing a little bit here and, and, and keep playing at a higher level, keep, keep my pace up. Um, obviously, the X and O's are huge and, and sticking within the structure that, that Daryl wants everyone to play within. So I think you focus on those things and, and try and keep every day adding to your game and taking that to the next level and put yourself in a good spot. Generally speaking, is the learning curve bigger jumping to pro on the ice or off the ice? I'd say uh, it's definitely a little bit of both. Obviously, from junior, the, the pace goes up, the play goes up, but I think off the ice is, is huge. It's you're by yourself. You're you're kind of doing everything. You got to prepare in different ways. You're cooking for yourself. Uh, there's no really um, anyone in a guardian sense around you to, to kind of look over you. But I think you rely on your teammates. You rely on those older guys who've kind of been through it before. And and last year, and especially in Stockton, we had so many good guys and, and so many good leaders to kind of look at and and uh, and learn things from every day. So I think those are the those are the guys you look at. And then then you come here, and obviously you have all those NHL guys that, that have been around and they come to the rink every day and they know how to play the game. So on and off the ice, you, you look at what those guys are doing and, and that's what you kind of learn from and feed off. I'm sure the approach doesn't change, but is it a different feel having the, the Stockton, well not the Stockton team, but the AHL team in Calgary now playing in the same building as the Flames and hosting with the same bosses? Yeah, I think it definitely makes it a lot easier. You know, you know you're in Calgary, right? So. Um, it, it'll be great having eyes on you at all times and not only from management and, and coaching staff but you also got that advantage of having that player development the skating coaches all around you all the time so if there's something to work on something they see in your game that's that's uh, easily accessible to for them to help you. Connor do you do you look at players do you scout other players and try and borrow things or or take take things that they're doing and apply them in your Yeah, I think I've always been a fan of the game and, and that kind of translates into always watching highlights, always watching games and, and tuning in to, to kind of what's on the TV and, and who's playing. And I think every time you're doing that, you're, you're a student of the game and, and you're trying to learn something, trying to pick up something new, whether it's just structure-wise, what someone does on a face-off, or, or if it's a skill thing that you can take to next practice and, and start trying that. I think there's always little things like that, and I think every guy kind of tries to learn, especially in, in a setting like this, a young guy in, in camp, you get opportunity to play with and, and watch other top-end NHL players, so you try and learn from them every day.